Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can select a single contact when viewing the contacts folder by simply giving a single click to the contacts entry. That will select the contact in the view. You'll notice the entry become highlighted to indicate that it is selected. You may also want to select multiple contacts. If the contacts that you want to select are not next to each other, then simply click on the first one that you want to select, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click on any other contacts that you want to select. Finally, release the control key when you are finished. Now if the contacts that you want to select are located next to each other, then simply click on the first contact in the group, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click on the last contact in the group. All contacts between the first and last contacts that you clicked will also be selected. Finally, release the shift key on your keyboard. You can also edit the information for an existing contact. If you're using Outlook 2013, you can open the contact window by selecting the desired contact within the contacts folder and then clicking the Outlook contacts hyperlink for the contact that appears under the view source label within the reading pane at the right side of the contacts folder. In Outlook 2010 through 2007, you can double click the entry of the contact whose information you want to edit within the contacts folder to open the contact window. You can then make any changes as you would like. Now once you have finished changing the information in the contact window, you will need to click the save and close button within the ribbon to save your changes. Also note that if you're using Outlook 2013, you can also make changes or add basic information to a selected contact directly in the reading pane that appears at the right side of the people view of the contacts folder. To do this, select the contact within the folder and then click the edit command that appears in the reading pane at the right side of the view. You can then edit any of the information shown or click the small plus signs next to the information type shown to add a new field into which you can record new information. When finished, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pane to save the changes. When you want to delete a contact that you have entered, first select the contact that you wish to remove within the contacts folder. Then either press the delete key on your keyboard or click the delete button that appears in the delete button group on the home tab within the ribbon. That will work in versions of Outlook 2013 through 2010. If you're using Outlook 2007, you can click the delete button in the standard toolbar at the top of the window instead. The selected contact or contacts will be immediately deleted. To reverse this action if needed, you may click the undo button that appears in the quick access toolbar to undo the deletion if you're using Outlook 2013 through 2010. If you're using Outlook 2007, select edit from the menu bar and then choose the undo delete command instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.